As Harvey Weinstein is wearing disguises while seeking treatment for sex addiction, the Weinstein company's fate is still undetermined. One thing is for sure, according to a new Vanity Fair report, Weinstein's last days at his eponymous company were grim, and there's still a lot of stuff missing from TWC's Tribeca offices. For decades, Weinstein reportedly used a network of spies, including ex-Israeli intelligence officers and talent agents to suppress dozens of sexual assault and harassment allegations. During the initial fallout from New York Times and New Yorker exposés, Weinstein tried to minimize the blowback. Somewhere in there, a few things went missing from the Weinstein company's offices, including two years from Harvey Weinstein's own personnel file. The dossier, which included documents going back many years, according to these sources, was found to be missing all material from 2016 and 2017. A pair of Oscars. Gone, too, for a pair of Oscar statuettes from the company's back-to-back -back Best Picture wins, for The King's Speech, 2010, and The Artist, 2011. An assistance personnel file. Also unaccounted for, two executives maintained, was the personnel file belonging to Sandy Rehel, a former assistant of Weinstein's who quit in February 2015 and recently sued TWC and Weinstein personally, for sexual discrimination and harassment. A document with the names of 63 women, organized by location, New York, Los Angeles, the United Kingdom, and Cannes. Vanity Fair says it has obtained a copy of the list. An IT specialist was summoned and a sensitive document was called up on the screen. Then Weinstein, according to sources present at the time, turned to an assistant seated before him and said, This is where you get out of the chair. Another member of the group then stepped in and, at Weinstein's direction, tried to delete a document called HW Friends from both the local workstation and the corporate service. According to Vanity Fair, TWC suspects a likely culprit for the missing personnel files is TWC's former HR head Frank Gill. Gill has denied any wrongdoing, but the company said he was suspended after discovering that he sought compensation from Harvey Weinstein in exchange for private information about company executives. Gill later resigned. Jury's still out on where exactly those Oscars ended up, though.